let's say $50 and do my own nails. This is by far my best set yet, and it took me half the time it took me last time. For those that don't know me, I used to go to the nail salon every two weeks and get acrylic fill-ins. I decided to save money and teach myself how to do my own nails. Today, we'll be doing dip nails. This is only my fourth time doing dip nails, so I am not like an expert yet, just a lot. My natural nails were just too thin and kind of brittle, so I decided to chop them off, and we're going for a fall short look. I use a Russian drill set to get rid of my cuticles and my hangnails. I spent less time on my cuticles this time, and I think that really helped me cut down my time. Last time, just so you have an idea, it took me five hours. This time, it only took me two and a half. This is a dehydrator, by the way. So my clear dip powder isn't in yet. It's being shipped, and so I'm using this kind of like nude color to mimic a clear powder. So we do two layers of the clear powder, but you don't go all the way to the edges and you don't go all the way to your cuticle with the clear powder. You don't want the cuticle area to be like super thick with like four layers. So that's why you do it this way. So now we get to put on the actual color. I chose this beautiful cherry mocha for the fall. And for these two layers, you go all the way to the cuticle and all the way to the edges. At first I was dipping and kind of shaking the bottle because I saw some of the girls do that on the videos that I watched, but one of my nails got lumpy and I just did not have time to keep fixing lumpy nails. And so I just prefer to pour and I'm gonna continue to do it that way. So we're gonna activate, buff, and then we're gonna activate again. The buffing and filing helps kind of even out the layers so that it's not too bulky. Use the activator again. Now we're gonna do two layers of the top coat. Finish with some cuticle oil and I'm loving the short nails, y'all. They're not perfect, but I love them. 